This is Wednesday, the 15th of February. Taking a look at the bears and bull stocks and starting out with the S&P 500. And uh, once again, we have to move our daily and our two-hour lines, our two-hour lines after this morning's brief pullback and finding support is up uh, to another new high. And our daily line moves up as well. Our three-day line has not moved yet, but it will get ready to move up to this 2312 area uh, by tomorrow, I think it is. So let's take a look at the bears first off. And uh, just a quick note, um, I think it's important to assume that just because the market's going up that uh, you know, the, the old saying of you know, a rising tide floats all boats or whatever, it, it ain't necessarily so. So for example, on our bear watch list, uh, we have several stocks that have been on this list for a while, such as SABR. I've got them highlighted here with the blue flags, APA in the energy sector still pushing down pretty hard here and then the uh, H&R Block also continuing to push down so just because the market's going up does not mean that all stocks are going up. I'm sure you already know that but just to point that out um, and, and also to kind of lead into what I wanted to say which is that part of what this system is that I've been showing every day this week is the idea of layering in um, high probability situations. So for example, when I start out looking at market context, we know the market context is bullish, as I showed on the S&P 500, using that as a guide here. And so when that's the case, what we want to do is we want to layer in stocks that also are trending in that same direction. And uh, then we want to look at stocks that have possibly pulled back a little bit to add in another layer of uh, high probability situations. So, um, I'll highlight a couple of the ones that I see on this one, but to go over the sector map first off on the bull watch list from today, again, technology still very well represented, financial, but it's by far the biggest. Now, just to point out one thing, this scan that I'm doing, I'm looking at, um, I think it's 600 or so stocks that fit uh, volume and price criteria, and I'm uh, looking only at stocks between 10 and 100 bucks. And then I'm looking at, at three-day panels, you know, three-day, daily, two-hour, and seeing what's trending right now at this time, at noon, on this day. And so it's a pretty, pretty well-defined scan. But as you can see, I mean, there are a lot of stocks that still have like 28, 27 green check marks. They're still very bullish, but these are the cream of the crop. These are the top 27. And the financial sectors, as you can see, making up. Uh, nearly half of this top 27 hit list here. Ones that I pointed out before, I'll point out again, PNC. I've been talking about this one for a lot longer than just this week, uh, but this one continues to do extremely well. We'll also mention South Trust, Sun Trust, excuse me, in the uh, financial sector. In the healthcare sector, I'll also point out one, which is Agilent, continues to make some nice moves up. And then in the technology sector, ADI, and LLTC, I like both of those as well, just in terms of the charts and the way the indicators are looking. Now to kind of follow up on something I mentioned yesterday, which is uh, looking at overbought or oversold. In this case, we're looking at oversold stocks, and this was the list I mentioned yesterday. And again, this chart is a two hour chart here, and then a 30 minute chart over on the right. And so if we go through this, there were 10 that were possibly oversold yesterday afternoon if you recall so if we go back on the chart you can kind of look at this midpoint on uh, you know right around in here for example on this one so you look right after the 14th you can see the little pullback and you can see I think eight out of the ten made nice moves up here some are just still kind of flat for example such as IPG the Ball State moved back up Yum moved back up AY, ATVI kind of flat there. AER made a nice move. EMR, one of the few that moved down, and I would consider that more risky at that at this point because as you can see, just real quick, the Chiku span on the 30 minute chart is below this historical price curve right in here. That makes that a little bit more risky. Still above the 30 minute Kumo, but to me a move back below this area where it found support last time around and back below the 30 minute Kumo. That would be an area that I would put a stop, for example, just to kind of touch on the issue of stops. Oracle's made a nice bounce back up. 
IN, FN kind of flat. So for today, and I know I'm going through all the stuff pretty quickly, but only three since the market has moved up so quickly uh, this afternoon, this, this night, or this morning, there's not a whole lot that are oversold on yesterday. So these three stocks right in here, HPQ, slightly uh, oversold here at this point, was on yesterday's bull watch list. STX is already uh, moved back up a little bit after being oversold. And then FDC, kind of debating this area right above the 30 minute Kumo and this 50 moving average. So that's what I see happening this afternoon. Again, covering a lot of material in a short video, but hopefully uh, these trade ideas are, are helpful for you. Talk to you tomorrow.